Well, I'll just say yeah. That room's locked. Oh my god, what the shit? <laughs> Water disconnection report. The water to the main building has been disconnected due to an undetermined reason. However, a single sink in the science lab on the third floor of the main building too has still stalls running water. The student seems to find this disturbing. A major repair will be conducted to rectify our current water problem. Okay. Science lab, third floor. This building. I don't think I can I can get in there. No, yeah. The whole third floor is blocked off to me. Am I gonna get a Master key to uh, third floor, or main building two at least. I hear the uh, the janitor. Someone shut off this light. Document to the principal. The principal's document. Name is Yuan Kim. Male. Born in 1970s. So, when, when does the game come out? 2001. So he'll be about 31 years old. Or, oh, or this is not the principal. This is someone else. This is Steve. <laughs> My bad. Uh, special note, committed suicide, oh... <coughs> well then. Name, Jiwon Kim, date of birth, January 22nd, 1970. Gender male, subject to music, family, not available. Special note, committed suicide on school grounds in 2000. No family or friends appeared after his death. Nobody, like nobody came, nobody to talk to, seemed antisocial and exhibited. Uh, sorry, <laughs> seemed antisocial and exhibited eccentric behavior from the start. Created and spread rumors about a conspiracy in the school, showed some signs of paranoia, installed a lock on the music supply room for his exclusive use, and would hide the piano ch chair key so no one could find it. He was being closely monitored around the time of his death. The possibility of murder cannot be ruled out, but given the weight of evidence found, it's most likely that he committed suicide. Uh, Na Young Kim, Na Young Han. Sorry. Date of birth, September 23rd, 1980. Home room 11. Special note. A top student during her first two years, but her grades began to fall when she entered her third year. The cause of her grade slipping was not found. She did not appear to be having issues at school or home. She was found dead in the school, lacking any evidence of murder. Her death was ruled as suicide by hanging. Yo. Number three. Unknown. Date of birth, unknown. Gender, female, address, and confirmed. Special note. A delusional woman who began wandering around the school two or three years ago will sometimes trespass onto school grounds but does not show any concern in behavior. So this is just a random person, just a cray cray person. She may be involved with the accident the with the accident three years ago, but there's no evidence linking her for exhibits a particular a particular sensitive sensitivity to the alarms, fire security. They cause her to have seizures. I forgot what I picked up. I have that. Videotape. Oh, it's in there. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Puzzle. I saw this one now. So, not sure. This is giving me a bit of trouble. There's these, like a, like a s separation between that. I, I thought that had something to do with it, but what I've been trying so far, and they're all the same uh, pattern. Must be something in this classroom, right? First, I was looking at this to see if there was like any clue here, but I don't think there's anything in the books or the sh uh, the bookshelves, trophy cases. This freaking guy! Wait! Oh shit! What the hell? It's the same design over here. I hope at some point we like something happens to the janitor and he st he stops chasing us. Something has to happen to him, right? Same over there too. Same patterns. Are they positioned the same way all around the desk? Like this side is to the left, to the right I mean. Turn off my light, forgot I had it on. That's positioned to the left. Position to the right. Last position to the right. Come on, about the other side. That one's position to the left. So, is it opposite? Test that out. Oh, okay, yeah, it is opposite. Video tape. Okay. Cool. Let's watch some TV. Has no label on it. Where's the VCR at? Something on top of the shelf. Is that the principal's office? Faculty office. On top of the shelf. Okay, that's right next to me.
it's in this it's up here faculty office 2 <laughs> It's on the second floor, okay. Then make sure he's gone. I'm gonna save it first, actually. Save it here. Right. Start again. We've been playing for a little over two hours now. It brings me joy. Every time I see it, I have to smile. It puts me at ease. Sorry, I'm crouching. Janitor hears me less this way. Alright, open the door. Backmask tape seems something someone's been recording on this, but it's recording it, but it's recording is backwards and indecipherable. Something's happening. Hello. Oh, if it isn't my nemesis. Where is the girl you've been desperately following around? Like a puppy dog. Flirting with me right now? I just said I've been waiting for you. So what? If I don't trust you completely. <laughs> Let go of me! God. So dramatic. Well, technically, totally there was an earthquake. Help. Or a school quake, whatever this is. What is wrong with this building? Why does it shake all the time? Construction? Probably. I don't know. Well, I'm out of here. Or a big ass tree. 
You can leave or stay and find so young. Whatever. Whatever with your whatever. Girls, man. Jeez. Try and be nice and everything. Oh, document. State of the school report. Inappropriate rumors in school. Games like treasure hunting are becoming a quick, uh, quick spreading fad among the students, but this is no average treasure hunt. It is to find the CD which belongs to the deceased music teacher who committed suicide on the school premises last year. The rumor is that Mr. Kim, the music teacher, had left the CD before his death, which contains his last words and the secret of the school. According to the students, the clues Mr. Kim left are being found periodically, raising the credibility of the rumor. The rumor has to come to the point where it's disrupting classes. Some students are even known to bet huge amounts of money on this. Damn. Why can't my school... Well, not even a school anymore. Why couldn't my school be this interesting? All there was was fights. Fights, fights, fights. <laughs> they were fun, though. They were cool. Fun to watch. <laughs> uh, this rumor has come to the point where it's disrupting classes. Some students are... Uh, I read that part. All homeroom teachers are advised to be aware of the situation. Pay atten special attention in regard to this issue. Got it. Anything else in here? I know there's the faculty lounge. Oh, what the... This is old. Oh, shit. Sign slap key, okay. Alright. So that's on the third floor, right? Okay, got it. An open the faculty lounge. Get rid of the broken stereo system in the music supplies room. The rumor has the bro uh, the rumor that ha that the broken stereo plays itself is causing even more chaos in the student community, which is already in disarray. The student won't even enter the music room. Uh, since it belonged to G Juan Kim, who killed himself last year, put it away with the rest of his personal artifacts in the lost and found room. Oh, okay. Broken stereo in the lost and found room. Where'd the janitor go? Where is he? Is that everything here? There's never, there's never, I don't think I found one thing in these, oh there's a lock here, which I can't open, so I'm not even a bother. One day I'll find something in here. One day. Oh, no. Didn't see this. Class announcement. New advanced mathematics class. No, thank you. To better encourage students to excel in mathematics, we are designing, uh, designating Junior Homeroom 7 as the new advanced mathematics class. From now on, top students in mathematics will receive math lessons according to their level during fifth period. We ask all homeroom teachers to, rely, to relay this announcement to their classes and submit a list of their qualifying students by next week. That is all. Third floor, my bad. Ah! <laughs> Open. Ah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm super dead. Super dead. Super dead. Super dead. Ow. Okay, finally got away from him. 
He's seriously really annoying. Like, my god, jeez. Alright, I found a felt tip pen. Apparently there's a water. This one's working. Yelled at shit. Okay, let's see. Thank you. Who's there? Don't come any closer. Oh, Ji Hoon. Heeman? Is it really you? It's too dark to see well. School feels really strange tonight. What's that? Did you just hear something? God. Turn on the light! Oh, who the hell are you? No one else can. No one else can, I must do it. Just a little surprised. It's a good thing we're here together, though. This school is so old. It's always scary in here. But tonight, I think it's even worse. They say many people committed suicide here. Apparently, it was at its worst when the school was new. They had to use talismans and even called for an exorcism. My old music teacher used to tell me this stuff. Yeah. He was interested in this sort of thing. I know about him. That is, until all of a sudden, he killed himself in that music room. Oh. <gasps> what was that? Tell me, did you hear a piano just now? It's coming from the music room. You go inside first. Did you go check for me? Sure, let me just check in here first. I don't think the janitor's coming anytime soon. I hear the piano playing. Oh, there's something here. Paper scrap. Accident report on March 16th, 19. Bleh. On March 15th, around 9:50 p.m., there was a fire in a home. Co oh, God, there was a fire in the home economics room at Y High School in Seoul, killing one female student. The fire damaged hundreds of dollars worth of property, but caused little structural damage. This was only a small fire that was put out in a matter of minutes. The accident happened right after the end of night classes, so my. So most students were out of the building, but one student was killed while waiting for her mother. She was su suffering from asthma, and the police believe she died from an asthma attack triggered by a sudden fire. The authorities are investigating further to determine her exact cause of death. This is the one that... Uh, this was the one, right? Then one day there was an accident at the school. There was a fire in the old school building. Unfortunately, B was... Yeah, this is the one. Huh. Okay. Alright, gotta go check out the music room. Gotta be the gentleman I am. Hold on, there's something here. Oh, one-sided love. As I was running away from the the guy, the janitor, there was a little there was a little creak, and then there was a 
note at the bottom of the screen there saying uh, the floor is cracked. And I guess this is it. Uh, one sided love. Yon Sun, a junior high school. A junior in high school. Hold on, I'll read this all over again. <sighs> a one sided love. Yoon Sun, a junior in high school, was happy to attend school lately because of the new Korean language teacher. Oh, dude had a crush. Tall and handsome. Girl had a crush. The new teacher also had a great personality. Or if it's still a guy, cool. He never yelled or got mad at his students during his lessons and he always stayed calm. Yoon Sun felt, oh, it's her, felt her heart race when the teacher complimented her on her writing. The teacher even noticed when she recently changed her glasses and told her that the new glasses suited her well. Just thinking about him made Yoon Sun jittery with happiness. Yoon Sun was really an average student. In fact, it would be more accurate to say that she was a below average. She was pretty. She wasn't pretty or cute, nor was she good at academics or sports. She also gained weight in the last few years, and even her mother would snag her about losing some weight. She wasn't popular among her friends, and she was not particularly adored by teachers either. She was just a quiet student, always there in her same spot. That was how people around her define, would define her. Yun Sun too knew that she was no one special and tried to keep her crush to herself. But as time passed on, she could not hold her growing feelings inside. I know. I think I know where this is going. She didn't even expect to date her crush or anything. She only just wanted to let him know how she felt about him. No, 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 not a good idea. Especially a teacher. <laughs> That's a no. Yun Sun worked up her courage and wrote an earnest letter. Next day, right before the Korean language class started, she secretly placed her love letter inside the attendance sheet. She could not dare to give her letter to him in person. At the time she reached closer for the cl class to begin, her heartbeat went faster and faster. Finally, the bell rang and class began. But the teacher who came through the door was not the Korean language teacher. It was the gym teacher, who she del disliked the most. Swerve. <coughs> he said that because the Korean teacher is running late, he'll be supervised in the class. Yun Sun felt a cold sweat. Many things raced through her mind. Would he call out attendance? Would he find my letter? If he did, would he just pretend he didn't see it? But the reality she f faced was harsh. The gym teacher opened up the attendance sheet, found Yun Sun's letter, and oh no, and read it out loud to the whole class. That's a dick move. The classroom soon filled with the snickering and jeering of the kids. The gym teacher, please don't tell me you signed it. Anonymous, in this in this case. Put it as anonymous, please. The gym teacher then openly mocked. She put her name in. If you didn't do that, at least keep it anonymous. Oh man. <sighs> this gym teacher's a dick, though. The gym teacher then openly mocked her that even the fat, ugly kid yearns love just like everyone else. The disgusted looks of sneering from the class made her scared. Every single one of them was her enemy. She felt as if she had fallen into hell surrounded by demons. Right at that moment, the Korean, te uh, Korean language teacher entered the classroom. To Yun Sun, he seemed like her, her savior. He was confused by the strange vibe in the classroom. The gym teacher getting such a kick out of the situation had Yun Sun's letter down. Yun Sun looked at him and hoped that he would calm the situation down and make things right. The Korean language teacher finished reading her letter and turned to Yun Sun. His face was twisted by a mixture of disgust and annoyance and Ding, anger. It was as if he was looking at a repulsive insect. Her embarrassment and the sense of betrayal was too great. She killed herself that night in the school, but nobody spoke on why she really killed herself. That is sad, man. That's... Enjoy your time over there? I'm over here reading the piercing shit. I need to go to a new school, man. I need to transfer. Alright, here we go. Who's in the music room? Oh, they have pews in here? Is this a thing in like Korean schools or Japanese schools, something like that? I like the melody. Mysterious nope. An upside down clock pendulum, his voice shall be the key to unlocking the secret of music appreciation. Uh, 
Jihun? It's fine, it's just the piano playing itself. Nothing, nothing to worry about. Oh, it's locked. Oh. Just noticed that. There we go, played it. Piano beach key. Key that unlocks the piano bench. Piano piano beach key. <laughs> Dumb. Alright, what's in here? I unlocked it. Oh, another piece of the art. Picture. The art picture's been giving me some issues. It's not letting me like move the picture around to try and adjust it. Hey Ji Hyun. Ji Hyun. Ji Hyun. I've been looking everywhere for you. I, is that so? I didn't know. Sorry. Yo. Let's get going. He's too busy chasing after so young. Come on. What are you doing? Um, uh, wouldn't it be smarter to stay together? Don't you get it? He doesn't care at all about us. Hey, hey, I offered y'all chocolates. Even if you're in the same class as him, can he be trusted? Well, he probably doesn't know his way around here yet. So what? We no, don't know him at all. As I have my map. <sighs> Look at this. Fine, do what you want. It's easier for me if I don't have to babysit anybody. Like, stop being you. so stuck up. I'll be watching you. I'll be watching be you. Careful. Hope you stub your toe. She's gonna stub her toe, right? Hope she does. What's the matter? Um. What did I grab? Hold on. Back oh, the art piece. Forgot about that. Oh, I guess she's gonna come with me. Alright then. Let's go, girl. Um, music room supplies. Oh, that's locked, so I can't go there. Alright. I heard there was a student who killed herself with poison in the upstairs art room. You wanna go there, I guess? Which one is it? That's the middle one. It's not like having... Oh, what's going on? I'm ducking. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna save. The school tried to say it was just a rumor. Come on, write your name too. Alright, let's go. Um, does she come in? Uh, she has no reflection. Okay, I was about to say she has no reflection, but it's just hidden behind the door. <laughs> Should come in the the girls. Oh, she doesn't come in the washroom actually. Okay. Um, let's push you out of the way. <laughs> let's go upstairs. But I think it's a true story. Well, let's go check it out. Because sometimes I hear a baby crying around here. Oh yeah, I saw that baby. Kill your ears too. Alright, it's locked. Can't go there. 
Alright, let's go down uh, downstairs. See if we can fit these paintings in. Or pictures. Happy I have a friend along. Don't feel lonely anymore. A no more janitor too, which is a plus. Thank God. Um, which room was it? Second floor, I think. Should be second floor. Where are you? Aren't you coming? She's only following me to the fourth floor. Oh god, don't run at me like that. Aren't you gonna come downstairs? Um, I'll be right back then. Stay there. Okay, I'll just leave that be, I guess. So, where do I take her? Okay, she's still, still telling me stories. Something about a pregnant student. So, there was a note that I got here about... Hold on. Upside down clock pendulum. An upside down clock pendulum. His voice shall be the cue to unlock in the circuit of music appreciation. Hmm. Oh, didn't see this here. Thank you for that. Sorry. I just noticed it's gone. The uh, dummy that has all the organs and stuff, it's gone, it's not here. I think it was around a lot. Alright, let's go to the fourth floor, I guess. Okay, so I've been wandering around a bit. Um, Ji Hoon is upstairs, and I decided to check that phone because it was available to check. Will it say the same thing? Yeah, it will, okay. Uh, I'm not sure what to do here. Kind of stuck. Found another pin. Oh. Found this too. I really gotta look carefully. God damn, missing stuff. While well, in the washrooms, I've never really been looking around, just trying to hide from the janitor. Oh shit. There's a note under here, I didn't even see that. Oh, it's uh, one of the ghost stories. Okay. Competitive spirit. Kyung Hee's father passed away when she was so. Sorry. When she was young, so her family struggled with money. Her family expected her to go to a vocational school, high school, and start making money as soon as possible. Kyung Hee, however, had a different idea. To her, studying hard and getting a good college was the only chance they had to escape poverty. So against her family's wishes, she decided to attend a regular high school. Hold on. Sorry. 
In high school, Kyung Hee started. Uh, Kyung Hee stayed true to her goal of studying hard. Her grades were so excellent that she became one of the top students in her prestigious Y High School. Uh, for her, however, it was not enough. No matter how hard she tried, she just couldn't beat the student in first place. The number one student was a cheerful girl named Se Yun. Uh, she had always been popular because of her smarts and kind nature. It was said her father was top, a uh, top government official. Maybe that explained how Se Yun could be so confident and positive all the time. Kyung Hee had never once seen her study. She only ever saw her laughing with her friends. In spite of this, Se Yun uh, always had a better grades than her. When does she study? Kyung Hee wondered. She decided that Se Young must be getting very expensive private tutoring. Kyung Hee chewed on her nails out of anxiety. She felt as if she had her family, she and her family would be doomed to live in poverty forever. She didn't go figure out how to beat Se Young and become the top student. So she threw herself into her studies more even before, ever before. She hardly slept and studied so hard that she felt like her eyes could bore a hole through her textbooks. As time passed, dark circles formed under her eyes. Finally, the exam she had prepared so much for was over. All her classmates complained that the exam was too difficult. She sat back in her chair and smiled, believing that she had, had, had aced it. I will finally beat her this time. Kyung Hee closed her eyes and could, hard, could already imagine Si Young's tearful face. Damn. Serious in school. Uh, at last... At last, the day they would receive the report cards came. The room was filled with varying reactions to the report cards. Some were crying, some were relieved, and some just didn't care. Yo. Uh, Kyung Hee looked at her report card with confidence then. Her face twisted in shock. Second place. On the report card, it was written that she scored second best again. She turned to look at Se Yun and saw her smiling brightly with her friends. She had lost to her again. Kyung Hee was so stunned after this that she could not focus during any of her classes. Sorry, I keep yawning. Only one thing filled her mind, and that was Se Young. How the hell could she beat me every time? It must be the expense of private lessons, but I don't have that kind of luxury. This means I could never beat her. It's over now. We will just have to live in poverty forever. Kyung Hee, from the trauma of her stress, developed a mental disorder and ended up killing herself. A rumor spread after her death that a ghost had begun to appear in the library. It is said that if you remain in the library to study until midnight, a girl will glare at you with her chin resting on her hands before suddenly disappearing. Alright, any more of those under the desk? What's going on? Guess I should try that too. Look under desks. Jeez. Um, there's this one note that I have. The occult club announcement, and I'm trying to figure this out. The treasure is sleeping under a place covered by the dust of erased knowledge. It can only be awoken by the hand that shakes every day. So I'm thinking, like, chalk, a chalkboard. Or did I solve that already? No, I didn't. Treasure is sleeping under a place covered by the dust of a race knowledge. It can only be awoken by the hand that handshakes every day. Alright. Um, yeah, I've been wandering with uh, Jaehoon for a while. Not knowing where to go. I might, I might have to look up like what the hell to do because I am confused, man. found a typewriter button. Little key that'll probably fell off the typewriter. I guess I gotta add that here. Um QWERTY, right here. Missing Whatever's here, I forget. I forget the keyboard. But yeah, I'm tr 
trying to look everywhere because I know I missed some stuff already. Okay, guys, I have to do it. Look. It's been almost an hour and I've gotten nowhere. Found a few stuff that I missed out on. Found a, a key for the, um, the typewriter. Found the letter E for it. Found some pens. Found a note. I've been like scrounging around everywhere. I can't, I can't find anything else. I'm not sure what to do. I have to look up what to do. I'm sorry. Like I am stuck as hell right now. So after the music room, so there's three things that I gotta deal with. The typewriter. There is a lock on the Student department office, and there's a lock in the music room. So those are the three things I have to deal with. So I'll just uh, I'll just be a moment. Hold on. Seriously, I'm a dumb dumb man. <sighs> so <laughs> picture piece one. It has a thingy on it, and I assume it's for the music supplies room. Uh, regarding the typewriter, I that involves stuff from other locations, not just uh, main building two. I didn't look up the uh, lock in the student department office or whatever it was. Thirteen twenty-eight. I guess I should examine item more. in here. Another picture piece. Does that have anything behind it? Nope. I don't know why you get so close like that. It's creeping me the hell out. I see the stereo up top, I know. CD though. Um, can you give me a <laughs> piggyback or something? Please don't. I'm really terrified. Be terrified like that then. There's some chairs around uh, that allow you to walk up. Wonder if I can grab one of those chairs. Hold on. Can't grab the stool. faculty office. Pretty sure. I'll be right back. Wait, do I got all the R pieces? Yeah, I do. Okay. Hooray. And then? Uh, the vase. I've been touching that vase forever, man. Like, see, seriously. That soon. Wait, 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 it might contain something. Uh, 
something's been recorded on state, but it's recording as okay. Oh, there we go. Like I, I was doing that at the, at the beginning, but nothing ever happened when I like check something. Like this book doesn't open. This doesn't open. This doesn't spray. Whatever it does. Oh, well, I fought it. I fought the monster with it. Well, I guess I got the remote. Um, I assume that's for the stereo that's uh, hanging up top there. And I guess I don't need something to grab it. So uh, let's go back up. Finally, progress. I'll try not to look more stuff up, but if I'm like an hour in looking for shit, I'm gonna look something up. <laughs> Fuck, I hate this ghost. Seriously. I'm gonna try and get to this before uh, it comes. There we go. Oh. CD is found in the music room. Seems to belong to the dead music teacher. Feels kind of a heavy CD. Oh, got a key. Art room, main building two. Let's go. Uh, I have to go upstairs. Okay, the, where's the ghost? Um, I should probably calm down. Hold on. I guess because I'm running so much that is that I was doing that. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, this baby. Please don't scream. Oh, jeez, another record. All right, let's go. Art room. Let's go paint some stuff. talking about earlier. I've always found that kiln eerie. It's like a crematorium with burning corpses, right? Okay. I'll just say yeah. That room's locked. Oh my god, what the <laughs> shit? <laughs> That fell. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. If this continues, the building will collapse. Okay, I got a timer. I'll read that later. Owner's diary, I'll read that later when it's not too hectic. Get out of here. Smart one. Alright. I have to go uh, lost and found, third floor, right? Yep, nope. Second floor. Got three minutes. Dry clay doll. Clay of a doll of a woman. Looks bone dry. Examine it. Nothing. Okay. I'm gonna examine everything from now on. So is that? Jeez. Was that the only thing shaking the uh, school? Like there was no other cause for it, just the baby. And once it's gone, I guess it'll stop. Earthquakes. I'm coming, baby. Is there a 
special place to put it? Oh, I guess in here? Fired red in the kiln. It should be cold in running water. Oh, the science room. Okay. Jeez. I'm going. Science room. Second floor. Third floor. Third floor. Fine. Finish clay doll. It's shaped like a woman. Let's go. Baby's gone. 